guys, I just got back. I laid everything out on my counter. I have a lot of stuff to show you. I ended up going to Walmart. I did a online order. So there are a couple things that I didn't mean to put in the cart or I got extras of on accident. That was definitely a con of going and doing the online ordering is I always seem to mess it up. Definitely on me, not on them. It is my fault. I did have a few substitutions, but everything was good with those. And uh, surprisingly, they actually had everything that I wanted. Nothing was out of stock as far as like not being able to substitute for something. So that was really nice because I didn't have to go anywhere and get anything else. So everything worked out really well. I have a lot of stuff for back to school lunches because it is back to school time here where we live. So I have a lot of lunch ideas. So if you guys are interested in that, be sure to stick around and watch everything that I have. I'm thinking of actually doing like back to school lunch, um, not back to school lunch, but like lunch box videos to show you guys what I'm putting in their lunch box, kind of like a weekly video to show you guys what I do for the whole week. So I can give you guys ideas of what to put in your kiddos lunch boxes because I always feel like I'm at a loss. So I'm gonna try really hard to kind of keep it interesting and give you guys ideas as well. So be sure to look out for those videos. I will have them on probably a weekly basis depending on life, I guess. <laughs> but I'm hoping to get them out weekly. So with all that being said, I will go ahead. I'll show you guys what I got because I have a lot to get through. So starting off over here, I just grabbed a few frozen pizzas. So I have two jacks. There's a sausage and pepperoni and then also a cheese pizza. And then I also have two Red Baron pizzas, a four cheese, and what is the other one I got? A pepperoni. And then for bread, I got some Dave's Killer Bread. This is the white done right. This is the thin slice version instead of the regular ones. So we'll see how this works. Normally I get it from Costco, but I'm not gonna be there for a bit. So I went ahead and grabbed one of those and then a whole grain white bread for the kids' sandwiches for school because school is going to be starting up again. So there'll be lots of fun like lunch box videos and stuff as well. So we also have some 100 calorie multi-grain Thomas um, English muffins. These are really good for breakfast sandwiches and just to have for like a side for breakfast as well. So I grabbed some of those. And then for lunches as well, I grabbed two things of Capri Suns, just a wild cherry and a Pacific cooler. There were not many options for juice boxes. So I just put in the cart what I could and just went with it. I probably won't get these too much more because I like to get the ones that are like a little bit healthier, but you know, as long as they drink them just every once in a while, not that big of a deal to me. Uh, pumpkin pie spice uh, coffee creamer. Goodness gracious, that was hard to think of. So pumpkin pie spice coffee creamer. This is so, so good. So I got this one. I grabbed a different kind last time and it was okay, but I definitely like this one more. I have two things of lactose fat-free milk, two things of just eggs. I think that's kind of self-explanatory for baking and things like that. This Bonza chickpea pasta is one of my favorites. It's actually really, really good. I don't feel like it's, it's leaving anything to be desired. So I would eat this instead of just regular noodles and stuff all the time, even just by choice, because it tastes that good. And then two things of egg noodles for Swedish meatballs, and then maybe even like chicken noodle soup or something if we have some left over was kind of my thought for those. Some butter, because even though I got a big thing at Costco, I've been baking so much, so I've been going through it like crazy. So I grabbed one more of those, and then I also just grabbed a, I can't believe it's not butter, for toast and stuff like that, is what I like to use this for. A little bit healthier as far as calories go as well for that. Just some flour tortillas for burritos, uh, quesadilla, breakfast burritos, things like that, so grab those. I grabbed two things, a pair halves. I thought these might be good for school lunches as well, just to be able to cut up stuff. If we run out of fruit during the week, I will always have some. So I grabbed two things of those and I think I have peaches in the pantry already. So we'll stocked up on that. Just some baby dill pickles. And then this is my favorite hot pickled okra. It is so good. If you haven't uh, tried it and you like pickles, give this a try because it's really good. I grabbed two of these boneless ham steaks. I'm going to cube some up and put them on little toothpicks with cheese for school lunches. And then I will also use some for like breakfast and stuff like that. And just kind of grill it up that way. Some pepperoni, once again, for like homemade Lunchable style lunches. 
is what I'll be using this for with just crackers and cheese. Some pretzel sticks. I'm gonna use these and then I also got little cups which I'll show you later to either put like peanut butter or Nutella or some type of dipping stuff in to dip the pretzels in. I thought it would be kind of fun for lunches as well. So I grabbed that. These are the crackers that I'll be using for the pepperoni and the cheese. Everyone really loves these. We needed more popcorn. So I grabbed the extreme butter version of that. And then these Kel uh, Kellogg strawberry pastry crisp are super, super good as well. So I grabbed some of those just for like a little snack for even, I'll even eat these or the kids like these too. And then let's see, I grabbed these spicy black bean burgers. I think I'm just going to cook them and then I will cut them up and like put them on salads. Is kind of my plan. I might use them with the bun and stuff too, but I really like these just on salads all cut up. I grabbed some quick oats. These are for some little, little um, energy ball bites that I'll be making as well for like snacks and school lunches and things like that is my plan with those. Just some sloppy joe mix to have on hand. Some granola for the yogurt that I got. And then the ground flax seed is also for the energy ball bites as well as the mini chocolate chips I'll be using in those as well. It calls for regular, but I find the mini work a lot better for that. I also got just some regular turkey. I think I only got like a half pound because we just haven't been going through it as much. I feel like we go through phases of eating a lot of sandwiches and then not, and right now we're just not. So I only grabbed a half pound of that just to have it in case someone wants one. And then just for sides for dinner, I grabbed two things of broccoli, two things of Brussels sprouts. I have a stir fry that I'm gonna be using. And then this is another thing that I thought would be good on the salads with the black bean burgers over here, just to kind of heat this up and throw that on there as well. I thought that would be super yummy. It's a Southwest Chipotle sweet corn blend. So it has like black beans, corn, bell peppers, and onions. I thought that sounded super delicious. And then I have some red raspberries. I like to put these in my oatmeal in the morning if I have breakfast. So I grabbed those. There is some popcorn chicken. This blackened chicken is my favorite. I put it in the air fryer and I'll just have this for lunch a lot of the times as well. And it's super good and it's not bad for you because it's not breaded or anything. So I grabbed that. I also grabbed these lightly breaded chicken strips just to have. They're a little bit healthier than like the regular chicken nuggets and stuff. So I grabbed those. We have lots of French fries because they substituted them. I asked for one of a different pack and they gave me three of these packs. So these are all extra crispy fast food fries. So I grabbed those. And then I have just some romaine. This is a three pack, so I'll use these for salads. Iceberg, which I'll use for salads and tacos and things like that too. I have a sweet potato back here. Two tomatoes. I have two packs of these cherry tomatoes because I'm gonna make some feta pasta and then I also use these for salads too. I have two onions just for baking and some jalapenos, which I honestly don't even remember putting in my grocery order, but apparently I did, but I will just use these like in salads or even make um, like homemade jalapeno poppers with them. I do that as well. This is for the ham. I'll cube up this and put it on the toothpicks as well for the school lunches. So this is just a pepper jack version of that. And then I grab some sharp cheddar, just ultra thin slices. We love to use this on sandwiches and burgers and things like that. It's like the perfect amount of cheese without being like super overwhelming. And then just some broccoli and some bananas. I grabbed two of these English cucumbers because I'll dice these up and put these in the kids' lunches. They don't love greens, I'm gonna be honest. The younger two don't, but they will eat cucumbers. So this is kind of always my go-to for that. And then I grabbed these strawberries, which actually look a little bit empty. It's kind of weird, but I grabbed these. They look good as far as like freshness goes. It just doesn't look like there's as many as they should be in there. So I grabbed those. Um, the kids will all eat carrots as well, so I just grabbed the mini petites. I grabbed two of those. A daisy light sour cream because we're running out of that. I grabbed some whipped cream cheese just for the bagels that I got. Grapes just for a fruit as well. 
And then just for an easy dinner one night, I grabbed this country fried steak and some tater tots. I also don't remember putting the Texas toast in my order, but apparently I did. So I have two of those and then both these bagels were substituted. I asked for a pack of chocolate chip mini bagels and regular mini bagels. And apparently they didn't have either. So these, this is the Dave's Killer Bread, just plain bagels. And then this is the Sam's Choice sweet Hawaiian, they'll get eaten. I planned on doing them in the kids like lunches and stuff. So it might be a little bit harder to fit these, but they'll work just fine. And then I also grabbed two of these hamburger buns. These are the brioche style, nature's own. I wanted to say Newman's own, but I knew that wasn't right. So nature's own. I haven't tried these before, but I love the brioche style buns just in general. So I thought we'd give these a try. And then once again, I don't remember ordering two, but apparently I got two. That's what happens. I think sometimes when I do the online ordering, I just like lose track. <laughs> so we have two things of these mini donuts, but the kids will honestly eat these all up eventually. So I'm not really too worried about them going to waste. And they're honestly so, so cheap as well. Um, so I grabbed those just for a treat for the kids. And then I grabbed two things of these yogurts. I normally just get like the little individual cups, but I thought this time I would just save a little bit of money and just grab two of the big ones. So they're both just the Greek vanilla light and fit yogurt. And then I'm almost out of coffee. So I grabbed a fall blend coffee. This is so, so good. It doesn't have that like artificial sweetening flavor. So if you're not into that, this is definitely a good one to go to. So I've been using this in my French press and it's really good. I grabbed this for the Swedish meatballs that we'll eat. This is a super easy dinner. It's a go-to for us lately, so I grabbed those. I needed some, oh, apparently I put garlic salt instead of garlic powder, but we'll use that eventually. But I did need basil as well, so I grabbed some basil. These are mini cupcake liners because I have some packets of like cupcake, cupcake mix that I want to use, so I grabbed many things for the kids to take to school, toothpicks for the kids to take to school. I made sure and get the round ones so they don't poke themselves or anyone else. Um, just some salsa, some Taco Bell mild sauce. They haven't had the fire lately, which is super disappointing or the hot for that matter, but this will do. I grabbed some uh, honey. These are for, this is for the, um, my goodness, the energy ball bites <laughs> as well some french fry sauce, some secret sauce, some Dijon mustard. This is like one of my favorite hot sauces, the Tabasco and the jalapeno, really, really good. So I grabbed that. I needed some white vinegar. And then these are the little cups I was talking about. They have like little lids on them for the um, pretzels. Like I could put Nutella, I could do peanut butter. I could even do like syrup for mini waffles if I sent that one day in their lunches. So I thought these would come in handy and then I can just toss them or even clean them out and reuse them when I'm done. Just some disinfecting wipes as well. And then for drinks, I got some little bottles of water. These are 10 ounces a piece and there's 15. So I thought these would be good in their lunches. I could even send them with like a little pack of like the powder that you add, like Crystal Light. We also have like Powerade packs that you can add to water. I thought that might be fun. And then these won't go to school for them, but they're just for here. So I grabbed the Mandarin Orange, Clear American, and then Sparkling Water Wise, I grabbed the Blackberry. I thought sounded good. I've never had this one, but I'm sure it'll be great. And then Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar as well. So that's everything that I ended up getting. I feel like I got so much stuff. I was like rambling on about everything forever. So hopefully I didn't chat your guys' ear off too much. I just find it interesting when I watch grocery hauls to know what they're actually going to do with the product. So let me know if you guys are the same. If not, I can switch it up and make it shorter next time and not be so chatty. But I will have those lunchbox videos as well for you guys, um, probably on a weekly basis, I would think, um, maybe bi-weekly, depending on how often I change what's in their lunchbox because you guys don't want to see the same thing over and over. So that will kind of be to be determined. But if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe so you don't miss out on those future videos. I will also have the dinner meal plan at the end of this video. So be sure to check that out. And I will also leave it in the description if you want to see it that way as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.